Hey, what's up, Master Trainers? This is your host, Charlie Jonas here, straight out of Civic Valley, and today we're gonna keep playing Pokemon Master Trainer RPG. <laughs> Alright, so here we are once again for another episode of this incredible adventure, which is being playing Pokemon Master Trainer RPG Kanto Map, alright? Yeah, we're already on our 12th episode, so don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. This way you can become a true master trainer, alright? And also, of course, share this video with everyone else you want to play this game with. This way they can get to know all about this game, just like you do. And you're also going to help me out to reach my next goal of 500 subscribers to enable the community tab here in the channel. Yeah, as well, don't forget to go ahead and follow me on all my social media. This way you can get to know all about any new content here in this project and channel, alright? So stay tuned on my social media, because this year of course you're gonna have a lot of updates since there's a new generation coming up, alright? AKA Scarlet Violet Paldea Region. Alright, and, and also, as always, I'm gonna be leaving up in the cards, a playlist where you can learn how to play the game, yeah? The explain the rules playlist so you can check it out each one of the rules in video and this way you can learn exactly how to play this game very easily and leave no doubts about it all right and of course i'm gonna be leaving up there in the cards as well another playlist which is the playlist of this gameplay series here all right of course this is the 12th episode so far so if you didn't watch it from the very first one there's your chance to do so all right so you can check it out later on this playlist in all the other episodes and just one more thing before we start for real would you like to become an etymology master just like me and get to know that Sneasel's name comes from the words sneaky and weasel what makes this pokemon the sneaky weasel what could explain its typing regarding the dark type and of course it's visual if the answer is yes then you should check it out my etymology master online course they are going to be teaching you everything you need to know behind each Pokemon name origin in a very fun, quick and visual way. And besides boosting your English vocabulary, you are also going to get an exclusive Etymology Master Certificate after concluding each one of the courses. And plus all of that, you are also going to get a bonus PDF file in order for you to recap the content offline anytime, anywhere you want, right? So if you are going to set about it, please don't forget to check out the video I'm going to be leaving up there in the cards, since this course is one of the things that sponsors not just this channel, but this whole project, alright? Okay, then very well, with all that being said, so now let's go and catch up from where we left off in the previous video, yeah? AKA, the video where I could get my hands on not one, but two badges, right? In the same video, that was epic, epically awesome, right? And by the way, I still have my pocket job here, so let me return it to the pile and shuffle it, this way you're revealing another one. Okay, so now we're gonna have a long-term one available. All right then. So let's go back to where I finished, where we were here at Cerulean City, yeah? Just finished fighting against Sabrina, All right? Then we went back there, and now I have to manage my Pokemon here in my hand, and I'm gonna do in this specific way, right? I'm gonna get our Maldo out of my hand, of course, yeah, because it is a red chip, and I don't wanna keep any red chip for now. And now I'm gonna get my Torterra back. You're gonna understand why I'm going to do this, alright? Don't worry. And then I'm gonna leave for now my Celio and also my Teddy Ursa because I want them to farm in order for them to evolve, because they are going to become blue chips as well yeah and then with a full blue hand plus these two ones i'm gonna have pokemon enough for me to face and defeat not just lieutenant surge but also erica and even the ghost maroke right didn't forget about it and of course let's do the one thing that was missing from the previous episode which is finally evolving my charmander into a charmeleon yay finally this moment has come Alright, so let's go, let's throw back Charmander back into the bag, and then let's go and grab our well-deserved Charmeleon, right? Here we have it. Alright, and so finally our Charmander just evolved into a Charmeleon. Okay, alright, Charmeleon, welcome to the team. Very well. So let's go, let's bring experience points down to zero, 
And then let's check it out how much experience is going to need now in order to become a Charizard aka Red Chip. So from blue it is 18, 18 experience points. Alright, so now we have a new configuration here in my hand, right? The majority are blue, yet we have a pink and a green one. Very well. And that's the thing. Now I have my Torterra, right? Which is very powerful. And now even more powerful because we still have the Grass Weather bonus to Grass type Pokemon. Which makes this Pokemon pretty much unbeatable against, you guess right, against Lieutenant Surge. Because my Torterra is gonna be a menace against it, alright? Okay, alright. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna go all the way straight there. I'm probably gonna, you know, stop by here at the green, you know, just to get some action and farm some experience points. Why not? And before we go ahead, yeah, and start actually fighting Pokemon again, let's just first fill up all the blue spaces here, starting with this Snorlax space, right? Since it is a specific space with a Pokemon image, I have to go and place Snorlax chip facing upwards here. First, alright, so let's go into the red bag, red chip bag, yeah, go, scroll all the way down towards the first generation Pokemon, since it is not shuffled yet, and then we need to find the Snorlax chip, alright, here we have it, pretty quick, alright, and then now let's go and place it right here, right, so if you have any doubts, you don't know how those spaces work, I'm gonna be leaving the video in the cards of the rules, alright? So in this case, you're gonna put this chip into this space disregarding the, re the region color, right? So it doesn't matter if it's blue and the chip is red, it's supposed to be there. And then once it, it got out of there, whether someone caught it or it just went back to the wild, of course, it will only reappear inside the red region, alright? Okay, with that being said, let's go and shuffle and deal because Hey, the blue region is the region with the most Pokemon of all, yeah, so here is where we can find very awesome and different Pokemon, right? Okay, very well. And then uh, reminding you that once we get inside the blue region, we're also gonna be able to pick another trainer skill, right? Which is super welcome. And again, if you know nothing about trainer skills, I'm gonna believe the video put in the card where I already explained everything about it, right? So yeah, okay, so before we do that, let's go. I could it would be fun to go all the way there, huh? But yeah, no, no, not right now. I think I'm enough with the, the green region, so let's just come here before we say goodbye. Alright, so let's go and spend one energy coin in order to you know skip one space. Here we have. And then let's go and let's see which Pokemons are waiting for us. One, two, three. <laughs> Damn! I think it's a what? The third? The third fossil Pokemon so far? No way! Seriously? Yeah, I think so because we we fought Anorith, then we fought with Anorith against Aurorus. No, it's not Amaura, right? And now we found Cranidos or Cranidos, right? Wow! Damn, like first a third generation fossil, then a sixth generation fossil, and now a fourth generation fossil. That's nuts, alright, and alright, so I'm definitely down to catch it, yeah? So that's why I'm gonna use my escape rope right away, right? Right away, I'm not gonna even send a Pokemon, because yeah, it will make no sense, okay? So, escape rope right away, alright, so this battle we won't even get started, so let's check it out what escape rope uh, says. Use this card to avoid a wild Pokemon battle. The Pokemon shall remain revealed facing up and your turn ends. Ooh, all right, so yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'll just use it. Our turn ends, although this Cranidos remains there. Oh, then that was so wise of me to stop by there before, you know, because I'm pretty sure Rampardos is going to become a red chip. Let's check it out here on the evolution. PDF, right? Let's go fourth gen. Rampardos, they all, here we have it. Alright, yeah. Again, is a is a seven one, so it's kind of weak red one, but at least it's a red, right? You know, it's just another one to the team of the seven attack power Pokemon. So that's very welcome. Okay, so uh, yeah, that was awesome. So now I'm gonna go stop here at Saffron City. 
recover my energy coin and now I need to get rid of one Pokemon in order to make a way for my Rampardos and I'm gonna do that with my Skunt Tank, right? Because we know I already have Obstagoon which is a monster, right? With ultimate attack, um, dark type as well so there's no, no need for me to keep this Skunt Tank since he only has dark type attack yeah, so alright, come on Skunt Tank, go back to the computer, right? And make room because now I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to catch a very new Pokemon Alright, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so my turn is done once again. Now it's me once again, but before going back to Cranidos, you know, I'm gonna go and get inside the blue region first. This way I can pick a new trainer skill, and then you, you will understand why I'm doing that. So let's do the same thing, spend one energy coin, hop this space right here, and land straight into Vermilion City by the first time. Alright. Awesome! Hello, hello! Vermilion City, alright? Oh yeah, and I forgot to buy two item cards there at Saffron City, right? So let me go ahead and do that right now. But, you know, if you do that, you better remember, right? No, don't do just like me. I'm just doing because I'm playing solo, being playing by myself, right? I just want another thing. I still don't have, yeah, I still don't have, so just two. Okay, so let's, let me go and draw one, two. Let's see. Okay, bike voucher and reveal glass. Hmm, all right, good enough. Okay, okay then. So now I'm back to Vermilion City. I don't have any Pokemon in order to revive. So let's just recover my energy coin, and then my turn is done once again. But not, but not before I go and get a new trainer skill. And I did that because I already know which one I want. Right? I want the catcher. Yeah. All right. So that will be super crucial for me in order to be able to catch that Cranidos, right? Check it out. Catcher, roll once again when you fail to catch a Pokemon. Alright, so pretty cool, huh? It's like having a 24-7 berries on my hand, but even better than that, right? Since berries don't work on any Pokemon, right? And of course I have my Master Ball, but I'm gonna leave that one for, I know, a, a orange or yellow Pokemon, who knows, right? Okay then, so now my turn is finished for real, and then I have to make my way back to Saffron City. But this time I'm gonna go even further, so I'm gonna skip 1, 2, and go all the way 3. So I'm gonna spend all my energy points, right? This way I can make my way all the way back to Quenus straight. Alright, let's go, because now it is for real, it is us against Quenidos. And I think I'm gonna get started with Celio, right? My Celio is very strong, so it's going to be, I think, very good against it because it has water type attack. Alright, okay, let's go, let's check it out the interaction now. So let's go 30 and 30, yeah, right? And then a DH for each one, because yeah, I'm not gonna use anything, and I don't, I don't even have a power up. And now let's check it out the interaction. So Cranidos, it, it is a rock, pure rock, right? So rock against ice. Let's check it out. Rock against ice. Come on, rock. Where are you? So rock against. Oh, what? Oh no! <laughs> Damn! I wasn't expecting for that at all. Damn! So rock against ice is a plus D6. No way, Jose. All right, and then we have rock attack against water. Whoa! <laughs> against water is nothing, but against ice is good. Damn! Okay, I'll, I'll, at least we have uh, the same advantage, I think. So water against against rock is going to be D6 as well. Wow, so this battle is going to be harder than I thought, right? Damn, that's going to be fun. Yeah, and remembering that he doesn't get any bonuses from the route because he's not a psychic type, right? Alright, and so I think that's it. No, nothing else, you know, to check it out. So. Let's go, let's roll, come on, Celio, water gun! Yeah, let's do it, let's do it! <laughs> no, Celio, come on, seriously? You did that, minimized both dice? No way. Alright, so we just hit it with 7, which was a tremendously poor attack, right? And it hit us, oh my gosh, really, really harsh, with 8 plus 4, aka... 12, right? 
Damn! Ok, come on, Cilio, you gotta go and hit harder, right? Be better than that. Come on, let's go, water gun! Oh, Cilio, please! Ah, damn it, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> Pretty sure we're not gonna make it. So, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11. Yeah, but no, not as good because now he hit us with 12, I mean, with 14, right? 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 4 is 14. Woohoo, almost all of our life points. So, hey, this is our last chance, right? You gotta do better than what you did already, yeah? So, it's your last, last chance. Come on, Celio, please, please, at least, at least a double KO, right? Come on, let's go, let's roll, water gun! Ooh, well, yeah, we did it, we did it, right? So, 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 5 is 16, aka KO, and of course, you would also knock us out as well, yeah? Only with his base attack, it would be already enough, but you would get more, two more, so no need to even count it. Ooh, alright, so at least we... We got a double KO, and because I said that, because I have the cheer, right? And then with the cheer tra trainer skill, my Cilio actually lives with one life point. Okay, making it a victorious Pokemon to come back to my hand. This way, providing experience points to my other Pokemon, do my team worker and my XP share, right? So let's go, let's go one for you, because you know, it was a draw, right? Actually, no, yeah, you won't, so, yeah, but it's, it's one anyways, because it's a green one, and then you're gonna get two for you, no, not nothing for you, two for you, and two for you by the first time, right, and because, and why, yeah, why you, you should be wondering, oh, but this is a, was a green Pokemon, why is providing experience to the blue ones, and then we have to remember this table right here, right, so blue against green, they still can farm experience points, right, so that's why, and then we get two because I have two sources of experience points, so that's it, right? Although if you have four against a pink one, then of course the blue chips will not get any experience points whatsoever, right? Alright then, so enough talk, let's go to what matters, which is, am I going to be able to catch this new fossil Pokemon or not? So yeah, you already know, then now I have to roll the die, and then I have the catcher, so if I don't catch it first time I still have a second shot right so again I have to get a two three or four Ooh, all right here we go right here goes nothing so cross your fingers and let's go let's roll please oh. <laughs> all right all right okay, all right so the catcher is on now catcher is on last shot come on Cranidos please please I want you as a Rampardos come on come on please just stay, just stay, stay inside the Pokeball now. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't even roll. No. <laughs> no. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I have no time machine, no nothing. Ah, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Seriously. Once again, I lost another fossil Pokemon. Super cool. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Ah. Damn, I'm pissed! I'm sad. No! Alright. Alright, alright. It happens, it happens. You know, that's part of the game, right? That's part of the emotions. Not always they are going to be good. Come on, damn it. You damn die. Didn't roll. Yeah, I hit R and didn't roll. Alright, so whatever. Okay. <laughs> alright. So let's go. My turn it ended. Alright. And now it's our turn once again. You know, everything's going to go back to my previous plan, right? So let's go to back to Saffron City, recover my energy coins, and bring back one of my Pokemon. And since this Tank Tank is already out, I'm gonna bring my... Mm, let's see, I think I'm gonna bring my Perseker. Let me check it out which one is good against, against Grass, right? Fire, Flying, Bug Poison only. Let's check it out, steel is good against ice, rock, and fairy, no, not per second, not gonna be per second. Yeah, it's, it's going to be Skuntank again, <laughs> alright? Okay, so here we go, Skuntank is back, it's back online, alright, so my turn is ended right now. Yeah, another, another one. And now let's go make our way to Vermilion City and try to challenge, you know, very well, Lieutenant Surge, alright? So let's go, let's do it, so yeah, let's go and... 
flip it, make our way back to Viridian City, uh, recover our energy coins, right? And now let's make some some math right here quickly. So eight times three, it's twenty four, right? Twenty four plus two is twenty six. Twenty six plus five is thirty one. Thirty one plus seven is thirty eight. So we have wow, thirty eight power points, right? So almost enough to go and challenge the elite four, right? So definitely power points is not a concern any longer. Okay, all right. So come on, without further ado, let's go. Let's go and face you, Lieutenant Surge. So come on, it's you against me, all right? Come on, yeah, let's bring its, its uh, rival card. Then he's going to fight with Pikachu, right? Okay. So against Pikachu, of course, I'm going to go and use my Torterra, yeah? It is born, ready to crush you. Come on, Torterra, I choose you. All right, all right. So it's Pikachu against Torterra, all right? So let's go to what matters. 40 life points. Let's check it out. Pikachu's stats. Okay, he's going to have... I'm going to roll a D10. So let's grab a D10 instead. And then 40 life points. Life recover a 15, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not going to need it, all right? Okay, it won't matter. And then our time, yeah, we have a, a D12 now because it's a blue one, right? And then 40 life points as well. Uh, let's check it out here. Yeah, 40 and our life recover of 15. Wow, so it's pretty even, right? Okay, so now it's where it doesn't become even anymore. So a blue chip is going to get a plus 5 from the weather. Yeah, because it's grass and you know, it's our primary type. So let's add like a bonus, a bonus of 5. So we're making our base attack of 11, right? And then let's go and check it out the interactions between them. So electric attack from Pikachu against grass type is going to be a minus d4, although we are also a ground type. So grass against ground, uh-oh, haha, <laughs> is going to be a minus two. <laughs> All right, Pikachu, so we have a base attack of one point. That's awesome, right? And then our Torterra is going to hit it. <laughs> That's so sweet, right? Because if it was grass against electric, it would be nothing, but it, hit it, it hits with a ground type attack, which, which against electric is tremendously good, aka a plus d6, alright? Alright, so dude, we're gonna crash the hell out of you, alright? And your Pokemon as well. So come on, Torterra, no more waiting, Earth Power, let's go, let's roll! Boom! Alright, so here we have it! Damn, so we have 12 plus 11, alright? AKA 23. Dude, <laughs> Dude, 23 is more than half in one single hit. That was incredible, right? And then he hit us with 6 minus 3 is just 3. 3 plus 7, which is quite good. Okay, I give you that. So it's 10. Although 10 plus 1 is only 11, alright? Woohoo, alright. So, so far, so good for us. Let's go. Let's finish right now. Come on, Torterra. Come on, once again, Earth Power. Please! Ah, Alright, so we... Oh my god! <laughs> okay, Torterra, I get you. I get you now, right? So we didn't want to spend any uh, extra energy than other than the necessary, right? Because we just hit it with 6 plus 11 is aka 17, aka K freaking O! Come on, Pikachu is down! Alright, finally! And then he hit us with minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 plus 5 is 3, 3 plus 1! 3 plus 1 is freaking 4! No way, Jose! He hit us! <laughs> he hit us with 15! Which is exactly the amount of life points I'm going to recover! No! Oh my gosh, so it gives me this potion pass, right? So I don't even have need to use my potion card, which means I'm gonna have my Pokemon need a potion card in order to face be great you oh my gosh couldn't be better than that i can't believe it right so come on pikachu you're down making your terror or the victorious one and also providing experience points so one two one two one two one two and getting yeah how much three three for your terror right one two three Woo! <laughs> dude that's 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 nuts because now a little search is going to get Rachel against us, yeah, and then we're gonna get our life recover, which is plus 
15, bringing us back exactly to 40 points. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Then since, you know, the interaction is going to remain the same, let's go, let's roll, because I don't want to waste any more time, because I'm already feeling the new badge, aka Thunder One, between my fingers, alright? So come on, Tartana, let's go with power! Oh my gosh, alright, not as good, but although not as bad as well. So come on, like 6, yes, 6 plus 3 is 9. Woo! So 9 plus 11, aka 20, right? Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. We didn't, yeah, we didn't see uh, here, let's see. 70 life points. Woohoo, alright, so that's what I'm talking about. So let's go and add 70 minus 20 because we already hit it, right? And then he hit us with. 5 minus 4 is 1, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 3, right? Because 5 minus 2, 7 plus 3 is only 10. <laughs> Alright, so we are almost even, almost there. Ray Tutsu has a lot of life points, right? So come on, Torterra, you gotta hit harder than that. Come on, Earth Power! Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby! Come on, let's go! So 7 plus 5, aka 12. 12, oh my gosh, again, 12 plus 11 is 20 freaking 3 once again. Damn, this Torterra is a monster, right? 23 it is really running over Rachel. Alright, so now Rachel hit us with 6 minus 2 is 4, 4 plus 3, aka 7, and then 7 plus 3 is also 10. It's 10 once again, right? Alright, alright, it works for me, 10 and 10, we're taking like um, 20 each time, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to win! Alright, Tortella, jump on, just keep going, please, it's wonderful! Ah, no, alright, alright, okay, okay, so here we, we just, we just hit it very weak now, so we got 11 plus 6, right, 17, mm, okay, so you, you demand 2 hits anyways. So 17 down, and then he hit us with 3 minus 2 is 1, plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. Ooh, okay, so he got he got weaker as well. Okay, so pretty sure, no doubt, we're gonna hit. We, we, we won. We already won, right? We already won. No doubt about it. Because, you know, we're gonna hit it with at least 11, so which is more than necessary. And then he might not even be able to finish us up. Although it wouldn't matter that much because we still have the cheer, right? But because it is a boss, right? Let's go and let's roll. Come on, Torterra, just show how hard you're gonna bring it down. Alright, so 10, yeah, 21. Woohoo! Alright, so more than twice what was enough to take it down. Damn, this Torterra devoured Pikachu and Raichu. So RIP Electric Mouse Pokemon, right? And then he hit us with, oh, 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 oh nothing plus 3, right? <laughs> Damn, dude, that was freaking nuts and awesome and badass from my Torterras, right? So he won once again, and dude, he ate those Pokemon as breakfast, literally, almost, right? So wow, that was incredible, that was truly incredible, right? So Torterra is back, I think Torterra is the best Pokemon ever to fight against, to fight against I think, against Surge, you know? But anyways, so we, we got, uh, let's see, five, yeah, five experience points. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. And then, you know, two more here, two more there, two more, and two more. Why? All right, so her Teddy Ursa is almost evolving, just another battle. Woohoo! All right, hey, Lieutenant Surge, thank you so much, but you were no challenge whatsoever, right? So, yeah. Oh, so different than my other gameplay on my Portuguese channel, you guys have no idea. <laughs> I have tried to face and defeat Lieutenant Surge three times already, and I could even make my way through Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have a Torterra in my hand, right? Alright, now let's go to the best moment of all, which you know very well, it is grabbing a new badge. Alright, and here we have it this time, we have the brand new... Thunder badge, right? So wow, so beautiful, so awesome. <laughs> okay, so that was definitely awesome, right? And come on, let's go and let's finish this episode in an even bigger style, right? Even bigger, even better. Which is, you know, facing a Pokemon and having our Teddy Ursa evolving, right? So let's do that without further ado. Okay, so my turn is gone, of course. 
now you might now it's my turn once again and because the poke job it can take up to three pokemon yeah i'm gonna do that only once when i get my red chip on my hands right so i'm gonna take three reds to that poke job right okay so let's go enough talk let's go and check it out here which pokemon are waiting for us Dude, I told you, I told you guys about the blue region, right? Many Pokemon, many interesting things. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's Earth against Jirachi. No way, Jose, Jirachi, holy roly coly. Oh damn, so is I still in fighting? Is he still fighting? No, no, it's still, it's still, it's still psychic. It's still psychic. Oh my gosh, I don't even know which one is good against it. Oh, oh, but no. <laughs> but dude, hey, you know what? You know what? That was way better than I thought. You know, I want my cliffhanger to be, you know, my Teddy Use evolving and then, you know, adding another badass Pokemon to my hand. But now I got a way better cliffhanger. So now, you know, <laughs> you know, basically the game is forcing me to finish right here, right now, you know? So next episode, you can start fighting against Jirachi with a lot of emotions, right? And perhaps you even using my Master Ball, I don't know, who knows, right? Because a, a orange chip is quite good, although if it was orange and even red, it would be even better, right? So hey, all those questions are gonna be answered next week on the next episode, because hey, that was way better than I expected, right? So I, I'm way too excited to go and hush things up right now. So yeah, I'd rather do it with all the time in the world. Alright, until then, don't get mad at me, alright? Just remember that you could come here to the pkmmtr.com in order to check out the rules in a more visual interactive way. And also, you could click here on the download button to request access to all the printable files from my Google Drive. And there, you're gonna find all the public content releases so far that could be downloaded in order for you to print out and even assemble your own physical version of this game, just like a huge DIY, alright? Don't forget that you must be a subscriber to the channel and also to leave a comment down below telling me that you request the access and let me know the first half of your email, right? Otherwise, you're not going to be able to access the files. If you have any doubts, it's very easy. Just check out the pinned comments down below. Yeah, and of course, another thing which is so easy is for you to check out the links and check it out on my Patreon's page because there you're going to find options not just to become a patron and help me out a lot, but also to get exclusive access. In this way, you're going to be able to play here in, within the simulator exclusive maps such as the Super Express Game Mode map, the Express Game Mode maps, and even the spin-off ones from Pokemon Go Kanto map and even Pokemon Unite map, right? And of course, if you got your hands on the exclusive access, you're also going to get early access to the next map I'm going to be playing here in this playlist, which is the Orange Islands map, right? So very cool, a lot of content, a lot of fun for you to have with your friends, yeah? So please don't forget to go ahead and check it out on my Patreon's page. This way you're gonna help this channel even more. And of course, check it out the links down there in the description because down there you can find the logos by Nick Academy, a very cool platform food of courses, which are going to teach you everything you need to know in order to become a logo creator master, all right? This way you're gonna be able to master your skills using free softwares such as the Inkscape and even GIMP, right? To create very cool professional logos just like these ones right here i have created to use it here in this project and then let's be honest who knows with those skills it might even be possible for you to create very cool professional logos to all people you know yeah and even people you don't know why not and then even get an extra income out of that right so if you're going to set about it please check out the links down there in the description all of them because every product service course or anything you purchase through the links down below are going to support this channel a lot and of course, help me out to keep you bringing you more content, which is awesome and exciting, just like today's episode, right? And of course, don't forget to go ahead and ring the bell in order to get notified about the next episode that's gonna come up next week, because you already know it's gonna be filled with a lot of emotions, alright? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today, and I see you in the next one.